Hi everyone, welcome back to the lecture on Microsoft Azure AZ900. In this lecture, we will deploy an Azure database for MySQL using Azure portal, right? Once deployed, we will try to connect to our database by using MySQL Workbench ap application. So you can follow the link. You can follow this particular link to my MySQL Workbench download page and download the software. Start and select create a resource. All right, uh, now we can go ahead and search for MySQL here. Type in MySQL. database click enter so now let us select azure database for mysql and we can go ahead and click on create all right uh, we can select a single server for this particular example go ahead and click on create all right uh, we need to give some specifications here so the subscription as usual for any resource you need a subscription go ahead and select a subscription resource group go ahead and select your own resource group if you do not have one go ahead and click on create you know, the other resource group now we need a server name let's say for example ac900 yeah this server is available for us data source done select the data source as done location choose whichever location you are in or wherever your customers are located i'm selecting east us version as 5.7 and compute plus storage as we did that for a SQL server we can configure that server as well click on configure server let's, uh, let's select the configure server and let's deploy the smallest possible option right I will choose a basic from the top options right I'll select a v course of one and the storage as the change it here storage as 5 gigabytes click on leave rest of the things as default and click on that. right we have uh, and see and you can see that whatever you have created is here all right now you need to go to give an admin name and a password Go ahead, give, uh, go ahead and give a valid password and confirm that as well. All right, both of that confirmed. Go to additional settings. I'm leaving that as default. Tax, leave that as default. After that, review and create. Okay, you can you can see the product details and the price estimation that is 1858.5 Indian rupees. And you can also see the terms and the summary of what you have expected, right? So now uh, let's go ahead and click on create. It will take a couple of minutes or maybe five to 10 minutes. Let us come back and see how uh, we can use this MySQL server. All right, uh, we need not wait because I have created a MySQL server before by following the same procedure, right? So let's go to home. Let's go to resource group. And my resource group. You can see that uh, MySQL server is up and running for us. Click on that. So the deployment is 
complete. You can see the details of this MySQL server that is status is available, location east to west, server name is this, uh, server admin name is this and so on, right? So in order to connect this to our AZ900 MySQL server, we need to first configure something here in the connection security, right? Let's click on it. And now we need to add a firewall rule in order for database to accept connections from our public IP address, right? If I click on this add client IP, it will go ahead and add the public IP to this particular firewall rule and click on save. It will take a couple of minutes. So we have a notification updating the connection security setting. And once the connection is saved here, I can start and initiate the connection to my SQL Server, right? And we will be doing that using MySQL Workbench application, right? I'll now open up my uh, MySQL Workbench. Here it is. I've already downloaded that using the link which I provided. If you do not have that link, I am showing that again. Use this link and download the software for whichever operating system you are using and come to this chapter. Right? So I have downloaded that workbench. Once you have installed the MySQL workbench, please return this to le this lecture and we'll continue together, right? All right, uh, I, uh, I have also installed MySQL Workbench application. You can see the in your home page of that. Now for first, uh, uh, let's go ahead and uh, click on this plus button here. So I will click on plus sign here and I will, I will have to define some information there for the connection to get established. Uh, this is the wizard right you need to fill some information first is the connection name and i will name it as my sequel sequel right in azure now for the host name i will return to the portal for the host name here i'll return to the portal Okay, I'm back in portal and in the overview page, I have server name available, right? Let's go to the overview page. Let's copy this server name and paste that here, right? Post name, paste that here, right? In place of username here, Go ahead and select the server admin login name and copy and, and paste it here. All right. So let us give a password which we have used before. Okay. okay. As you can see here, the workbench is locked in, right? I mean, the server is up for us and running. Now uh, let's just test the connection and the result is uh, successful or not uh, or for the MySQL connections. Let's click on it. Right, uh, it is opening a SQL editor for me. I have a code ready for it of uh, MySQL code ready. So let, let me copy paste that. I hope you have downloaded this by using this link. Right, uh, this is the core SQL MySQL code which I have written. Let me copy paste that. Right, uh, let me wait for the bench to work open. Right uh, now we are in the workbench. Right, we have opened the connection and here we have successfully connected to our MySQL server running in Azure. Right.
if you want to uh, you can take a look at different uh, many options here and the three categories are available management instance and perform right let's go ahead and paste that particular code which i've copied all right let's run one by one you can see the output here that let's create a table. See how fast it is. Uh, see how fast the command is getting it. Right? Really awesome. Can execute you can run all the commands here you can run all the queries see all the queries are getting executed here do it again all right so then you can execute all the commands and see if it is working fine now at last i've dropped the table custom right this is how this is a just a sample uh, table or ju just a sample query which i have written for uh, this particular mysql workbench to understand how how it operates right so uh, you can you can go ahead and create a lot of uh, these things by using microsoft uh, mysql server and you can try and execute different queries which you want on the sql server mysql server right this is it for this lecture. I hope you liked it. And we have talked about how to create a MySQL server, how to connect that SQL server, My MySQL server by using MySQL Workbench, that is a third party application, right? We have successfully deployed and connected to our MySQL server running in Azure. And we have used a third party software that is MySQL Workbench right uh, thank you and i'll see you in the next one